now we go ahead towards the cell division cells need to grow uh, organisms they need to grow they need to uh, increase in their size sometimes sometimes they are wounded and they need healing they have to increase in number uh, we call this cell division there are two types of cell uh, cells if we are considering the division so we'll talk about there are so some cells called somatic cells there are some other cells called germline cells somatic cells are most of the cells of the body other than the gametes the germline cells are the cells which are called gametes which are present in the um, in the reproductive organs uh, testis and ovary of the males and females and uh, these are the cells which are responsible for making the next generation uh, uh, we are talking about uh, the division in somatic cells first the somatic cells need to divide uh, for growth for wound healing for regeneration or other mechanisms these cells divide by a process called mitosis uh, while the germline cells they divide by another process called meiosis in this uh, in today's lecture we are going to talk about mitosis in the diagram above um, you can see um, uh, a dividing cell this is actually no, I must not say a diagram this is a picture that is taken through microscope and these are uh, the onion cells uh, onions epidermal cells you can see when you cut down an onion you can see a small membrane uh, these are the cells of that membrane which are dividing before talking about division of the cell the cell division we have to talk about that what is the whole process of dividing um, when cells um, are produced after that um, for some time they normally perform their function when they need to divide they have to enter a cyclic process called cell cycle what is cell cycle cell cycle is the sequence of events by which a cell divides and then go back to the uh, non dividing state the cell cycle consists of two major phases one is called an interphase which is actually a very long phase and it consists of three sub phases called uh, g1 or gap1 s phase or the synthesis phase and g2 or the gap2 phase after the interphase next phase is the m phase or mitosis phase or the division phase interphase is actually a preparatory phase for the m phase because cell need to prepare itself for division before it enters into the um, division phase the g naught at the gap knot is also called a resting stage this is the stage when cell do not divide here uh, you can see a diagram uh, which shows the interface and the mitosis mitotic phase the m phase uh, as you can see that interface makes about uh, 80 to 90 percent of the cell cycle and the remaining small phase is called the mitotic phase m phase interface as you can see is again divided into these three phases as i have described the g1 or gap1 the s or the dna synthesis phase the g2 phase then comes the m phase after m phase just uh, at the start of g1 cell can enter into the g0 phase or the resting phase and stop dividing if cell enters into the interphase then it means it is going to divide if it is not going to divide um, it is genetically programmed to not to do so then um, it sustain in the g0 phase for example our nerve cells they do not divide this is they stay throughout their lifetime and uh, throughout our lifetimes um, in the g0 phase this is the reason that if uh, there is a uh, there is a injury uh, to the nerve cells they, they are never replaced because these cells do not divide to uh, for wound healing or uh, for re replacing themselves now we look at the details of these phases the gap one or g1 in this phase uh, this is the first phase of the first part of the interface in g1 cells uh, increase in size and as we know that after g1 phase the next phase which is coming is the s or the synthesis phase since this is the dna synthesis phase in which dna have to be synthesized in the gap one or g1 phase cell prepare itself for the dna uh, synthesis uh, we call it replication or duplication the dna of the cell have to be duplicated uh, so that the cell produces those materials which are 
required to uh, 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 to make the new DNA to duplicate or replicate the DNA. Uh, there is a G1 checkpoint. There is a control mechanism. This control mechanism checks a G1 checkpoint checks that whether all the materials which are required for entering into the S phase, the synthesis phase, are they ready or they are not. If all these materials are ready, then cell enters into the S phase. If they are not, cell have to complete um, uh, making of those, the, those um, uh, elements. For example, if an enzyme required for uh, DNA synthesis um, is not formed or is formed in lesser quantity, then G1 checkpoint stops cell, in, uh, stops cell from entering into the S phase and it will make the enzyme and then enters into the S phase. The S phase um, is the phase uh, in which the DNA is synthesized and the cell actually duplicates its DNA. As we know, the DNA is present in the form of um, chromosomes uh, and chromosomes are present in pairs. Uh, for example, Human beings have 46 chromosomes. These 46 chromosomes are present in 23 pairs. Uh, all of these pairs, because we know that uh, mitosis is a division which will make two daughter cells. Um, and these daughter cells ha should have an equal number of chromosomes. This is the reason uh, that the, in the S phase, before division, cell have to duplicate all of these chromosomes so that both the daughter cells um, should ha have an equal number of uh, those chromosomes. So in synthesis phase, DNA is synthesized and all of the chromosomes are duplicated. They are actually double to their initial number. There is an S check. When the DNA is duplicated, this checkpoint or the control mechanism checks that whether the DNA is uh, duplicated and it is, is it correctly duplicated? If this is not, cell have to redo these things. If cell is not able to do so, it, uh, have, it is stopped. Um, when it completes its uh, things, um, which, are, which, are required, uh, which are required for the duplication, and duplication is complete and correct, then cells enter into the gap 2 or G2 phase. Now comes the G2, the gap 2. In this phase, uh, cell again uh, continue increasing its size, that is it grows. And as we know that after gap two phase, the phase which is coming is the mitosis, or the division phase. So in gap two phase, cell collects all those materials which are required for division. Uh, the most important um, uh, um, element, the most important thing which is made uh, or produced during this phase are the microtubules because microtubules are required to uh, move chromosomes, uh, to attach with the chromosomes and then move them to correctly towards the poles of the cell. There is a G2 checkpoint which checks whether all the materials required for the M phase complete or not. If they are complete, checkpoint allows the cell to go ahead towards the mitosis or the division or if they are not complete, uh, then uh, the control mechanism stop the cell over there and cell have to remake all of its materials. Um, when it completes, the cell enters into the M or mitosis phase. Now mitosis, M phase, the division. In mitosis, basically mitosis, um, uh, in the mitosis cell have to be duplicated. Uh, cell have to divide into two daughter cells. Um, at this division, cell growth is totally stopped. As we know that in G1 and G2, cell was growing. Uh, but in, in um, uh, mitosis phase, cell stops its growth because for growth, cell needs to apply energy. And for a, a, a division, a cell division is a process which requires a lot of energy. Uh, so cell put all of its energy uh, for division only and it do not grow during this phase. Uh, there is a check, uh, when, when the cell is dividing, there is a checkpoint almost at the end of the mitosis um, which checks that whether the mitosis is correctly uh, carried out or not. If this is not, cell is stopped from entering next phase from dividing. Uh, if it is okay, um, cell go towards dividing into two.